Oh, welcome back to the kitchen. If your mouth started watering about half an hour ago, it could have something to do with the mention of a raspberry and peanut butter chocolate fondant. In fact, they are the, the three musketeers of go. your kitchen. Gabs, welcome Thank back. You. Awesome to have you here. And I'm not joking, halfway through that last story, my mouth started watering because I could smell these puppies coming out of Thank the you. oven. What is the, the key to a fondant? It's about the oozing. The oozing. Yes? The oozing. And the nice thing about this, a lot of people stress about it because if you over bake it for like two minutes, the oozing doesn't happen. It doesn't ooze. This yeah. is a great cheat because the peanut butter will always ooze. So it oh. looks, whether you you do it right or stuff it up, it will always ooze, non -ooze which is a win. Proof. I love that, man. <laughs> okay, where do we begin with our fondants? So mm. what we're going to do is we've got some dark chocolate on the stove and we're going to stir in some butter and allow it to melt. All right, now Bain Marie. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so it gives it a more of a gentle melting, yeah, otherwise so it starts burning. To, yeah, to separate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'll allow it to sit there while we allow that to melt. I've got two eggs here and two extra egg yolks. Okay. And we've got our salati caster snow. It's a nice fine mixture there, it's gonna dissolve. Exactly. A lot more easily. So all you do is you whisk it up. It's actually a very simple, people I think are quite intimidated by this, but it's actually a very simple, simple recipe. Well, I, I suppose you kind of group it like, I keep thinking like souffle when I think yes. fondant, that's something that is, you know, it's balancing on a knife edge. But it people could think that though, yeah. and I, must, I always thought that as well before I made my first one, and I was like, I don't know why I'm stressing about this so much. <laughs> and I love these combinations, the raspberry and peanut butter. Exactly, mm. so we've, we've got our, our chocolate melting with our butter, and it's looking delicious. So what Very I'm going to nice. do now, this isn't too hot, so I'll burn myself. Are you alright there? No, this is perfect, thank you. I'm just going to pour this chocolate and butter into this mixture. Okay, and, and this is why we, we had to heat the chocolate so slowly and not have exactly. it too hot so we don't have scrambled egg. Exactly, it's going to be very, chocolate. very, very important <laughs> to just keep stirring, otherwise your eggs will curdle. So don't just pour it in, leave it, go walk away because you're going to have an issue. Mm. So this is looking good. And this is the smell that was obviously giving me <laughs> earlier, man. It's that dark chocolate, it's amazing. And all we've got now is just a little bit of flour, and you, all you do is just slowly fold this in. And that is a tiny bit of flour. So it's I'm only a little bit, it, so it's great if you're someone that doesn't like to have a lot of um, carbs in your diet. And, and these things pack enough of a punch. If this is the only treat that you're going to give yourself exactly. that day, it, it's going to match up. Exactly. Know? I mean, you just have, you know, dark, the darker the chocolate, the better, obviously. And then you just have a little bit of flour, and this looks mm. perfect. Now, if you'd like the ingredients list, and you can try this right, um, on your own kitchen table at home. The key word is salati to double three seven two eight. We'll send you an ingredients list and a little how to. Just click on the link um, and the recipe will be sent directly to you. Mm. So what we have now are things called two dariole molds. Dariole molds. Which you can molds. get from any kind of baking shop. And um, we've greased it and dusted it with cocoa powder, which just helps the rising happen okay. a little bit better. So not a ramekin, a dariole. I mean, you so. can use a ramekin, but these <laughs> definitely are. <yeah, laughs> you, you can get a ramekin. I'm not gonna lie though, it doesn't really give that same mm, kind of. You want the curve. Yeah, you want the curve. You're gonna do this do it properly. So we fill it halfway. Now this is the fun part. Okay. We're gonna put a teaspoon of peanut butter per, right. per Dario mold. So you've gone for a nice smooth one. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can do a crunchy one if you want to. I just quite like the whole again the oozing effect. I think it's a bit better when it's smooth. All right, and now. As we put our raspberries into the mix, let's take a quick little blow-by-blow blow of how we got to this point and take a quick recap of these beautiful peanut butter, raspberry and chocolate fondants. Melt together the chocolate and butter. Allow to cool to room temperature. Mix eggs, egg yolks and sugar. Stir in the melted chocolates and then fold in the flour. Fill dariole molds halfway. Add peanut butter and raspberries into the center. Spoon remaining fondant mixture over this to seal. Gently wipe the lip of the mold, refrigerate for an hour, then bake for 15 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. Always good, always sweet, beautifully flavorful Salati sugars add the perfect touch to your day. Salati, inspired by nature. Oh, and that keyword again, Salati, to double three seven two eight as we crack open our beautiful fondants. Look at the gorgeous color contrast, apart from anything oh, else. Look at that peanut oh, butter, just melting. It is, um, 
It really is oozing. Mm. Well done. It is an ooze-proof recipe. Gabs, thank you so much. This looks delicious. Thank you. I think I'm going to have to really fight <laughs> off the rest of the crew. I'm going to brace for this. Um, now, we know that we have a lot of fun cooking in our kitchen, but if you really want to get the most out of a cooking or baking experience, you've got to head down to the boot camp, and we're about to start opening up spaces for you at home to get in on the action. Here's how you can get your ticket. Mm. I'm Zola and he's Clem. She's Zola and I'm Clem. I'm really sweet. And I'm her salty friend. We're both hardworking chefs. Making dishes that impress. I'm Zola, I'm Zola and I'm Clem, 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 Clem. Stop being greedy. It's a lot to boot camp we'll meet. We will make delicious treats. So tasty you want to tweet. A heck, it's salty sweet. Like us? Zola's book. That's me. It's a lucky to help you cook. It's a lucky boot camp.